Thank you for having me, everybody. I appreciate it. My name is Brandon Williams. I'm the owner and CEO of Dream Lab Industries here in Traverse City, Michigan. Anybody heard of this yet? Everybody raised their hands. <laughs> Dream Lab Industries, I'm up here to introduce the company to you as well as to seek financing for uh, expansion. And going forward, I found a problem. One of the problems I found is your average backflip. This thing, this clumsy little backflip that really never think twice about. This thing pinches your fingers. That's what it's really notorious for. It says my four year old son, Jack. So I came up with a solution, which I call the fishy pinchy. This little guy right here. This thing, this fish, is probably the coolest thing ever invented by mankind. <laughs> it is a very simple, easy to use product, especially if you have arthritis, for instance. If you have arthritis, you don't want to sit there and squeeze this little clamp or have that spring pop on the ground, bend over to pick it up. It's not worth it. Use the fishy pinchy. It's also biodegradable. What do you got to lose? And it's cheaper than all your clamps on the road, too. One thing I wanted to mention, though, is the Fishy Pinchy, they sell for $5 retail. Now, they cost $1.95 for a pack of free to produce, but that's including packaging and shipping and handling. That's also individual sale. Wholesale is a whole lot cheaper and a whole nother ballgame. I'll show a slide on those financials here at the, the very end. What is a Fishy Pinchy? The Fishy Pinchy is a versatile little bag clip. As you can see here, this is my corn bag from the freezer right there. It's pinching it closed. You can twist your bag up, apply the fish, pinch it closed. Or you can fold the bag over, put it straight in the mouth, and let the fish do the work. The Fishy Pinchy. Works on your kitchen, health, beauty, utility bags, you name it, this little device can do it. The patent has been filed. We're waiting on the good news, hopefully, to come through. And people love this little product. I kind of stumbled upon this product when I was messing around with my 3D printers back home. And I was making a, let's see, I was making a UFO, a UFO nightlight. And this is what I used to calibrate my printers, this little fishy. Well, this was the thing I did not expect to sell. But this is what's selling, so I'm rolling with it. And this is what people are reviewing, and this is what people are saying. Normally there's explosions with all these ones. <laughs> can you, hear it? you can hear that? <laughs> you got a microphone, make a sound. <laughs> <laughs> we were featured recently on the Northern Express magazine. Uh, we were discovered by our fishy pinchies. The word's been spreading around and they did an article, a feature page on the, the business. So that was pretty flattering. And ever since then, the phone's been ringing off the hook. I've gotten calls from investors from Chicago, of course, Traverse City, and Texas. So that's also good news. Since November, when we started this, I've had $13,000 in sales from just the fishy pinchies alone. That's a lot of units. That's 2,600 units of these alone. Now, currently, I'm printing those with a 3D printer. That right there, the Rostock Max from CME CNC. I got three of those going 24 seven all the time. I love that little printer, it's awesome, but it's pretty slow, <clears throat> which I need to upgrade and kind of catch up to keep up with the demand. So I'm looking at getting into injection molding, which I need, you know, I need to adapt to the increasing demand. At wholesale, I sell them for 275 per package in boxes of 50. An example of the wholesale pricing is on the last slide too. Currently, I'm partnering up with Meyer, Amazon, Spartan, Nash, Uncommon Goods, and many local businesses here in Traverse City. Uh, that's all in the works, as well as Department of Veterans Affairs, becoming certified, verified as a veteran-owned business. 
Here's our competitive advantages, eight seconds. Fishy Pinchies are compact, arthritis friendly, environmentally friendly, kid friendly, practical. Ours are biodegradable, theirs aren't. They won't pinch you either. Peace. <laughs> Now remember, I grew up with red hair and freckles, so I can take a beating. <laughs> Sir? Uh, have you considered, like, this sounds like you're really good for Uline or something, so I, mean, I can imagine all kinds of actual like, commercial uses, like uh, in the industry. Absolutely. Have they talked to you at all? Um, do you have a contact over there? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's uh, another good thing about this organization is the reach out that it could bring to, you know, the potential for this company is astronomical. You know, if, if I can dream it, I can build it in my lab industries, dream lab industries. I subscribe to Uline's catalog, and maybe one day I'll, I'll be in there. I will be in there Thank one you. day. Hey, Sir? What do you plan on doing with the $100,000 class action? It's $100,000 investment. That's a good question. What I want to do, I want to invest in marketing. And I'd also like to uh, invest in maybe a facility as well as injection molding. I can't do what I'm doing right now with my uh, Delta uh, printers. It's just not feasible. Uh, I need to scale up. And all that is going to cost a lot of money. But the way this is going and the scale that's going and the margins that are involved, I should be able to make that back very quick. Does that answer your question? Absolutely. Okay. I can answer more than you got. Is there anybody? Yeah. You're first. Oh, uh, what's the material is that biodegradable? Yes, that is PLA. I buy my PLA from a special company. They make it here in Michigan, actually, and it's, uh, it's biodegradable. So you won't find ours in a landfill. You'll find all those other bag clips in landfills. Not my fish. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's corny, but it's too bad. <laughs> We need to talk after this uh, about something I'm presenting here uh, next month. Yes. Let's do that it. That might help you out. I'm all ears, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. With uh, the, the many good injection molders around this area, why wouldn't you think about uh, you know, uh, using them as a resource and say, Uh, I'm looking to uh, uh, two options. One is to get in my own injection molding, which I think is probably more of a headache. So I'm thinking, leave it to the pros. If you got the machines, you got the manpower, I would just sub it out to you. That way I can produce it faster, and that's one less headache that I have on my shoulders. So if that's you, sir, you got my business. <laughs> As an injection molder, it's a lot more than one less headache. <laughs> <laughs> I have an injection mold machine in my house. Believe it or not, it is a nightmare to run. And the wife. <laughs> my laboratory is smaller than the. We'll talk later. Right well, <laughs> you got to see the pictures. Anybody else? Uh, one other question here is, uh, if you have a fish, have you considered anything else? Let's say an alligator or a dog or something. I know you're it. Oh, yes. It's not just a fish. I have about 68 different products. Okay, cool. This is the one that has kind of jump-started the business. I have a squirrel toothbrush holder. Nice. I got well, I can make a lot. Everything that, that we make is very unique, but it has a practical use. All right. Well, I'm thinking of like a lobster claw or something, you know, like a mane. That would go big. I love it. I mean, so, yeah, it's other shapes. Let's do it. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm in. We got I'm a Leo. <laughs> $5? <laughs> All right, thank you.